guys, it's time to plan, and I am going to try a new way of planning this week. This I'm going to actually be pre-planning for September the 2nd through the 8th, pre-planning what I know of, which is not a lot, but I'm going to do what I know of. I'm going to be using this kit from a no, Nicole, Nicole Alexia Designs. It's her fall floral make today. Beautiful. I thought this was the perfect way to come into September. Here is her other pages. She's got plenty to work with. I've got birthdays this week. Two of them this week. So I'm excited. Okay, and so... For the first things I am going to do, I'm going to do a little bit different on this kit since this kit does have these bow headers because they lap over a little bit. So I think I've kind of got this down how I want to do it. I'm just going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I'm going to start with this one, which is going to be right here, which is going to be my to-do. Nope, I already messed up, see? Not even two seconds into it, and I've already messed up, guys. Come on, be nice, be nice. <laughs> this is what I want to do. Okay, and then my full first full box will go right here. You will see there is a method to the madness when it's all over. But I thought today that I would do something a little different. I thought I would, since this is going to be, actually it's my, my sister's birthday is Sunday on the 1st. And her, uh, birthday is on the first. My granddaughter, oldest granddaughter is on the second. My sister-in-law is on the fourth. I thought I would use this video. Y'all have heard me talk about my grands a lot and y'all have heard me. Uh, <laughs> so I thought I would talk about my sister. My sister is the oldest of uh, us five siblings that there were. She is the only other girl. It was me and her was the girl. She was the oldest and I was the youngest. And then there were three boys in between us. Well, she was uh, 10 years older than me. So, of course, we didn't get to see each other. I mean, we did. We did a lot of things together. But there was quite a bit of an age difference there. Because by the time, let's see, when I was 10 years old, she was getting married. <laughs> so, okay, so now uh, what I want to do is I'm going to use these like my today, this, this color as my, you know, why don't, it doesn't matter, I don't think. So I'm just going to go along the lines here. As long as I get my boxes down before I put my headers, it shouldn't matter. But anyway, so, and then I had, I was an aunt by the time I was, uh, by the time I was 10 years old, I was an aunt. <laughs> and then, I can tell you what I can remember about our childhood. Me and her, of course, shit, we were the girls. We were, oh, there was only like three, well, it was actually four bedrooms, I guess, because my grandmother lived there, too. That There was two that was built on before that, though. It was just two big bedrooms. And, uh, so, me and her shared the room that was in between our living room and our kitchen. And one night, I was just asleep in a way, just asleep in a way, not a care in the world. I couldn't have been, she was, I couldn't probably be maybe five years old at that old. And Lord and behold, I was woke up <laughs> by her grabbing my leg and my head hitting the floor. Because she could have swore she seen... Uh, somebody in the living room looking in the living room window. But so she remembered to get me. I do. I am thankful for that. She remembered to get me. And so she was dragging me through the house screaming by the leg now. My head hitting the floor, bebopping against the floor, if you can picture it. <laughs> so, and I can remember her wanting to play her records and 
And she she loved, she was one of the Elvis people, guys. She was one of the Elvis people. And a lot of other rockers, I can't remember their name back then. That was too long ago. But she, you know, just the regular music that they listened to. And then, uh, let's see what other. Now, I remember her getting married and her having the baby, April, which was her name. And then I remember so well <laughs> her april coming home from the hospital and she was in this little uh bassinet and uh i'm trying to think did i do this wrong i think i did this wrong no this is a different color it's a different color okay i'm sorry she was in a little white bassinet and I was, I thought she was hungry. She was crying, guys. She was crying. So, I was going to lean over the bassinet to pet her head, you know. And I was only 10. And the bassinet tipped over. Yes, the bassinet tipped over. It scared me to death. And, of course, April started crying. I started crying, <laughs> and oh my gosh, and of course, she was okay and everything, and then, like I said, I can remember when her, uh, see, they, the, the first house that her and her husband and the, her kids, uh, father of her three kids, uh, lived was right up the, right up the road from us, and, uh, and then I remember, I remember, Lord, I remember it was St. Martha, me, and my mother coming back from Athens. And no, I'm sorry, I was at home babysitting April, matter of fact, because their house, some, we were sitting there in the living room, and all of a sudden, someone stops by yelling and calling saying that uh, y'all need to come the house is on fire so their my sister and her husband's house was on fire and oh my gosh that was uh, i still remember i had april and we were standing out in the yard of course they wouldn't we could literally see their owner still on my dad's land so we could see april i mean for the house from there and stuff and it, and uh, but it was horrible and then they moved on down the road, had bought some property, but it still wasn't far away. It was just down the road. And, uh, and, uh, so I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to concentrate and talk. And so I babysit a lot. And then here, she, they had their second child, Amy. And I can remember, uh, going over to Diane's house all the time. I'd ride my bicycle over there when she wasn't working. And we would watch soap poppers, Days of Our Lives, uh, Another World. Uh, gosh, I can't remember the names of all of them. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, I can, I can still remember. And I remember eating hot sauce out of this jar she loved from the store and Doritos. Back then, there wasn't really that many choices. You know, so, but I remember there were the the corn, just plain Doritos, and some hot sauce. I forget, and I think they still sell it. But I forget the name of it. But we did that, and we watched soap poppers. Yes, so much fun, so many memories. I remember going to Tyler. We went to I went to Tyler with her one time. It was me, her, and April, <laughs> and. Oh my gosh, like I said, I was maybe, by that time, I may have been 11, 12 maybe by that time. <laughs> and we were going down the road, just to sing and just to having a good old time. And I look up, or look down, should I say, in April, her being just a baby. This is before there were seat belts, car seats, and all that stuff. You just rolled, you held the babies. They were just didn't think about it. She had grabbed, <laughs> she had grabbed a hold of my uh shirt pulled down and there it was of course there wasn't that much to expose look i get real at 12 but still i was so so mortified <laughs> and of course mom and them and Diane just laughed but i could like i said i remember the good times times with them
Okay, and then let's see here. This is another to do. Let's see. Today to do. Okay, full box. Okay. And let's see what else I can remember about. About her. Let's see. Guys, I'm telling you, the struggles the struggle is real when you're trying to think and concentrate at the same time. The struggle's real. Okay. And I'm not trying to color block at all, as y'all probably can tell. Wait, that's wrong. Wrong box. Wrong box. Come on, be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. It was nice. It was nice. So anyway, so I uh, I do remember good fond memories. Of my sister. She's still alive. She's still around. <laughs> I was just telling some stories of her. Uh, I still. She lives in. Uh, Brownsboro, and I live where I live. So I don't get to see her a whole lot. She still she works for a, a retina specialist, so I don't get to see her a whole lot. But I do enjoy. Uh, she works five days a week. Then she, of course, she has her grandkids and and her great grandkids. And hallelujah, I just have grandkids so far. <laughs> I'm not ready for it to be the great grandma. And let's see here. And then let's see. Now Maddie. Now we can talk of our table. Well, we'll go by we'll go by age. I'll go with my sister in law. My uh Larry and my sister in law met. Oh Lord, I don't remember. I don't remember when they met, but I remember they got married December the second. And I remember my brother is not real, real, real tall. But my sister-in-law is real, real, real short. <laughs> She's only like four foot eleven, maybe. And here's and Larry had this big dually truck. You know, you know the trucks were the big, you know, big thing. And he had this big dually truck, and she couldn't even hardly get up in it. So they had a she. He had a stool that, <laughs> that they literally made to uh. So when she. Uh, got, had to get in the when she got in the truck. That's what they used. They used the stool for her to get into the truck. So anyway, they got married. Uh, I remember December the second, and then let's see. There, uh, they wasn't. She, Shanta had some kind of illness where I don't know what it is called, but it's where you. It's, it's some kind of anemia. I do know that. But she didn't never could build enough blood for her body. And they never could. She was on some kind of machine that when they gave her so many transfusions as a child, she got too much iron in her blood at that time. So she was on this little machine thing that she had to put a needle in her stomach. Or I remember it was just a little bitty machine. And she had to wear it for 10 hours a day when they first got married. And then... Uh, she got where she didn't have to have that, but then she became a diabetic. So they were. So, <laughs> I don't know where I was even going with that, y'all. Okay, anyway, there was. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm sorry. She they they were not able to have children, so they adopted my nephew James. Now, if y'all are new to my channel, or even if you're not new too new because it's been it'll be two years september the 28th my, their son my nephew james was murdered shot by a gunshot someone shooting them and they're still awaiting the trial and it has really affected my brother in so many ways he's been in the hospital how many times he's the one that just had the stroke i was talking to you about in the laundry chat last week and he's had bypass surgery it's just a lot of stress and he owns his own construction company, but so, but she is Shonda is the sweetest thing, 
that's the sweetest thing you can have. She, her and Larry helped take care of Dad a lot. Dad lived with them. Because Larry lived on the same land as Dad, but he had bought some. My dad had like 93 acres to start off with. And then he sold... Uh, he sold... I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom washing. Let me go ahead and do the bottom washing next. Uh... But he sold part of it to Larry. And then we each inherited so much of it. And, and it was divided. Anyway. And so Larry lives on the back side of the place. And so. And then my... My other brother that's married, the oldest brother, he lives in our, the old home place, our old home place where I was raised as a child. My middle brother lives on the same land, but just down the street where my sister's first house was, there's another mobile home there, that's where they live. So they all live on the family place. And me and Keith have our own land where we live, which is about 15, 16 miles away. And I, I can remember as a child when... Uh, because we, our house was not central heat and air. It was not uh, at all. We heated with a wood burning. When I was a real little child, I remember the black pot belly uh, stoves. That's what we heated our, I, that was our heat, guys. And our summertime was an attic fan and fans and a water cooler. <laughs> that. There wasn't no central hater. They is so pretty. Now we'll go to the sidebar. But anyway, so dad and them was going to cut some wood. And my mom and grandmother, because my grandmother, my dad's mom, lived, it was started out being their uh, farm. And then my grandpa died. And then my dad took care of my, my grandmother there on the farm. But <laughs> so. But he was cutting wood, and I just had to go. I just had to go. I probably was maybe, maybe five years old. Maybe, if that old. <laughs> and I just had to, had to go. And just thought my world would be over if Dad didn't let me go. So he did let me go. I'm going to do this flag first before I forget it. And he told me. And I can still remember him telling me. Beth, do not crawl upon the tailgate of the truck. I said, okay, you know that, I won't, I won't, I won't. Because they had barbed wire. Because they were building, they were cutting fence or were, were they building, and they were building fence, not cutting wood. And they had this thing of barbed wire right down there below the tailgate. Well, uh, little Miss Beth didn't listen, so I got on the tailgate. And what happened? The tailgate fell. <laughs> and hence the scar right there, if you can see. I've had many questions about that scar, but that's how it happened scared my dad to death they ran uh he ran or carried me back to the house where mom and, and oh, that's what i was saying my mom my grandma my aunts all my aunts my dad's sisters and stuff were there doing a quilt to be in this middle room they had the quilt and uh where it was on the side <laughs> it's like four sticks like a square they rolled they rolled up to the ceiling and they rolled it down when they had a quilt on it and they all sat around it and they quilted literally and so, get there, you know, as, and my grandmother, she looks at it, and she wrap, puts turpentine, I think, on it. Burnt, 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 screen my head off, and some kind of bandage on it. And that was, so I never got stitches in it. Probably needed stitches back then. You didn't go to the doctor unless you were dying. <laughs> I mean, that's just how it was. When you were on a farm, and... You just, you, there wasn't none of this preventive medicine back then. <laughs> it was, uh, unless you're dying, you're, uh, you don't go. <laughs> I'm going to do a habit tracker this time, guys. I'm going to, I am starting. I got Tay Tay her stro a stroller. <laughs> so I have no excuse now not to go and work out. Well, I not work out, but walk down the street. At least get moving is what I'm calling my workout. And then I want to get another piece of that washi. This washi is just so beautiful. So beautiful. It 
to see here. I'm trying to. I know it's got quite. I had to think. I had to think. I had to think. <laughs> And some would say that is dangerous, and you would be correct. Okay, so now I am going to put so that so that was how I got that scar. Now I have another scar. And I don't know how I got around talking about scars, but guys, I'm just talking as it comes. I was starting about my childhood and all these memories are coming back. Well, I have a scar on my shin. I did not say chin, my shin down by my lower leg. <laughs> and where that came from was my lovely brothers. Pushed me out the top of the barn hay bale, hay part of the barn, where you know where you throw the hay out of the barn. <laughs> They pushed me out. Wasn't they nice? <laughs> so, uh, so that is where I got another scar. Uh, let's see here. I like these. I wonder if I could just butt these up against each other and make me a list. Because I want a list for like to buy. That's what I was going to put on there. Uh, was going to put on there. So I think maybe I can. That way I can use these. Use these up. You know you're getting, you get excited when you use up your stuff. When? <laughs> Guys, and I am serious. When? These are straight, but I don't like the way they look all together. So I need to move them down some. Put another piece of washi up there. When you get excited because you use up <laughs> something in the kitchen too. I used up a can of cooking spray today non-stick spray and I was like yay I used up a can so you know you're getting a little carried away with your uh I wonder if it look better with these two in like in the middle I think so so when you get so excited about you, you using up stuff or even when I'm using up like bath soap anything else it just gives me such a pleasure of not wasting and I, honestly guys i don't know where it came from unless it's just my age or whatever it is but it's like i'm become miss thrifty here i've always been frugal Ooh, that's gonna be a little bit uh, i know guys i know I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this off. This one off. And just put this one on there. And just have three there. And then I am going to take some more washi. And put. Right down here. I think it should finish it off really nicely. That one's a little bit too big. I'm wondering if maybe this white one. Yep. So it's just going to have to end. I love for it to end, y'all, right? And it's going to drive me crazy with it not ending there. So I'm going to have to make it in there. Or it will drive me crazy all week. Which I know is not a far drive, but <laughs> there it is. There's my sidebar. I got it done. I got it done. Okay, so I got my basic structure down. So now I'm going to put my date, my date cover-ups up here. 
So I hope y'all enjoyed learning a little bit more about my childhood. <laughs> oh, I, I lived. My best friend that was born literally a day after me, our parents, my, our moms was in the same hot clinic in Athens at the same time. My mom just happened to have me first on the 18th of January, and her mom had her on the 19th of January. And we're still in contact till today. She lived right over the hill from us, and we used to walk over or walk each other, uh, walk home, walk home. We used to play at each other's house, and then we would, we, we would spend half a day walking each other home. I'd ask mom if I could walk her home. She'd say yes, and she'd ask her mom if she could walk me home, and she'd walk me back home. So <laughs> we spent half the day walking back and forth. I guess it kept, kept us busy <laughs> and out of their hair. <laughs> but like I said, times were a lot different when I was a child. You didn't have to worry about. Now I'd be scared to death for anybody to walk on that highway as fast as cars fly by there. Okay, so now I got my base down here. And so let's see what we've got here. I know I wanted to put this from Tassel Planner Workout sticker. I wanted to put it right here on this habit tracker, which, as I said, my workout is getting Tay Tay in the stroller and walking up the road a little bit. That's my workout. And then this, of course, y'all know I keep tracking my dinners. So this is by Tassel Planner also. So let me put this right here. And then to buy, she had a to buy sticker over here. So I'm just going to use it. I'm just going to use this little to buy sticker right there. I'm going to put right in the, right on the top of this. Oh! Like that. And that will be the to buy. And then I have work stickers to notate when Keith works. That will go in the... This is another thing I not want to waste. I really do not care. For, these are from Whimsical Plans. I really don't care for how little they are. They'll probably be good for the whole Benici weeks and stuff. But I'm just going to put it on the full box. Because he works this week, Wednesday and Thursday. And I guess it is, will be his weekend off. Because this weekend, he's working. This is actually Friday night. He's already left work. And I decided I would go ahead and film. I filmed my laundry chit-chat this morning. So, I'm just on a, in the filming mode, let me tell you. And I finished up my what's for dinner. And so, if y'all haven't watched the laundry chat yet, I explained I'm going to start doing my laundry chats on Saturday, my what's for dinner videos on Sunday, and my plan with me is on Mondays. I'm not going to put it on here until it happens, though, because I never know, guys. With When you have fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue and other illnesses, you just don't really ever know. So, that's reason always the night before I <laughs> do. And actually, I mean, this planner is the night of. I come in and put exactly what I want to put in here and keep. Okay, so we got Keith's work schedule down. Okay, so Monday, yes. Monday is my girl, Ma uh, my girl Maddie's birthday. I cannot believe she's going to be 16 years old, guys. 16. How did that happen so fast? So I'm going to put that on there. Come on. It just seems like yesterday she was just a tiny baby and beautiful baby at that. Beautiful baby. And then my sister-in-law's is Wednesday. So I think I'm going to put hers in this maroon box to kind of match the header, I guess. I mean, the date. The date. Cover up. And I'm going to use one of these bowls for her birthday, too. Put hers on that side. So that's got the birthdays down. Monday is also Labor Day, guys. It's also a Labor Day. So I don't know. Let's see. 
she had this little thing here so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up a couple of these down here because I won't be doing that much and I'm going to put Labor Day right there but I want to get it on there straight there we go okay so that's got labor day tuesday i don't have anything wednesday i do have a doctor's appointment and let's see what she has here she has this little appointment thing right here and i am going to put put it on let's see this little thing right here And put it right here so that will leave room for some, anything else that goes on right there and I already put Shonda's birthday down Thursday is trash day let's see she has a trash can and let's see here trash day shouldn't really be that exciting but guys the struggle's real i forget about it so many almost we try to set it out wednesday night but sometimes it's hard if we have like uh, uh keith has appointments out for the shop or whatever we'll forget so it can be a struggle so thursday we've got his uh work schedule down there and we've got our trash day Friday, I don't have anything. And Saturday, I, Friday, I do too have something. Yes, I do. It is payday. Yes, it is. So, I do have something for Friday. I'm going to put payday right there. Okay. And, oh, here's some little balloons. I got to I gotta use those too on Maddie's birthday. <laughs> you can't over-decorate your grandchild's birthday. Okay, guys, so that is it, I believe. This is what I have left to work with throughout the week. I have this page with all the icons, all these half boxes, quarter boxes. I'm not going to really need this, so thank you. Thank you very much, but I'm not going to need you. I've got these littles I can use, some more of these headers, and one full box I'm not going to need, so thank you for your service. <laughs> I heard another YouTuber say that. I just loved it when she says that. Okay, guys, and so that is my plans. Okay, guys, so there it is. My camera got too hot, so I had to wait a minute. I hope you like this. I'm hoping that this works for me. I've practiced I kind of practiced this week doing it, and if you want to know kind of how it goes on the progress, I'm going to try to be good and remember to show this on Instagram. I'm trying to get better at Instagram one day at a time, guys, one day at a time. So, and I want to, but this way I don't get behind and I can stay caught up. And I'm actually only using two of my planners, my Erin Condor Petite Planners. That's my scribble planner. Very little decorating going on in that anymore. And then this is where all the decoration comes out, baby. But anyway, guys, I hope y'all enjoy this and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.